Councillor Lutherot must be arrested and used as a scapegoat. And this is coming from Julius Ibrahim. She's calling for arrest, uh, for his arrest, for fueling rape culture and sexual violence. Mm. Basically, he said rape victims sometimes enjoy the act. Mm. They should be arrested for real. Mm -hmm. It should be. And um, this just shows that he has some type of experience or he knows mm. somebody. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm, the who is it? Oh. 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 Or you know somebody it's who's done possible, this actually. and has confided in him to say that, oh, at some point while I was raping her, she began to enjoy it. So if you know this thing, you need to expose that person or expose yourself. So mm. it needs to be arrested, question, because this is like the most stupid thing I've heard anyone say. Now, I feel like even if you have the slightest idea that the rape victim is enjoying it. Wh why wouldn't you think that, okay, maybe it's because she's just trying to protect herself. She's tired of being beaten. She's tired of being forced. She's tired of being, and she just has to fake it so that you can leave her alone. What about the psychological trauma you're going to leave this person with for the rest of her life? Have you thought about that? So which person wants to be taken against their own will? Mm. It's just that simple. If you have that type of sense, if you can even think that alone, then you will not open your mouth to say this. So obviously, he doesn't think. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. I, I, as a counselor that doesn't think. Mm. Uh, and there are people that go to him for counseling. I pity them because they don't think. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm almost very certain that it isn't that the victim gave them an inclination that they were enjoying it. I think they just assumed that, that they were enjoying it. Um, or maybe they watched a movie. Maybe. Because I've seen this play out in a movie. In a Nollywood movie, actually, that the lady was raped and she was like, oh, this guy was the sweetest uh, since uh, the husband doesn't do it the way he did it. I mean, that's a movie, actually. So. <laughs> it's oh, very God, sick. I mean, I, mm, what I know is usually you get to fight or whatever and then you let go, like mm -hmm. it's happening. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen... Mm -hmm. um, 13 Reasons Why it was a very good example of, mm -hmm. of that. I don't want to use any human person. Mm -hmm. So 13 Reasons Why is a good example. You like, you're not going to fight for how many other minutes and you're there to let it happen because you don't have a choice. you can't wait till it's over. If that person then interprets that as, as enjoying, that's on you. I have never seen, and I know quite a lot of people because I've, as you know, rape and violence is something that I've, you know, I'm interested in trying to help people and all that type of stuff. There's too many people that I know that I, I don't know anyone that has said, oh, it was actually really nice because you're forgetting that it's, sex is beautiful. Sex is nice. But the way it was done is what's not nice. Mm -hmm. So it's not that it, it, it's kind of like twisted that you don't think like that. It, I don't know if you remember when you were younger and then they say you have to eat this food. I didn't like eating, so I understand that when you're eating the food, it's not like I said, no, the food is bitter. The fact that I'm being forced to eat the food is what I'm concentrating on rather than the pleasure derived from the food eating itself. The food. So if you are that sick of a person to interpret the person's vulnerability and helplessness as them enjoying it, it just even, um, I guess, even reiterates the fact that you are actually very sick. And that's a a strong word from a rapist. I would be very surprised, very, very surprised if this person has never raped someone, even if it's statutory rape. Oh, he's uh, not constantly raping someone. They, he, like, I'll be um, very surprised. But from what this conversation and this mindset just brings me, I'm sorry I'm taking it all the way over to the boy child mm. or the man when the conversation of the possibility of them being raped come up. And... You hear a guy saying, ah, but you enjoyed it. Mm. But there's also a part that says, so if you do not enjoy it, I mean, for a woman, it's going in. So a man, how exactly did he get an erection mm. to be raped? And that conversation was so stupid. deep at some point where they start analyzing how a man can have an erection without being conscious. Yes. You know? A man so, wakes up with an erection. You know, exactly. So it's that, that conversation is kind of deep and weird. And especially when you tilt it to the boy child as well, or for the men as well. So... Like you said, I don't know why anyone would think this way, but um, the counsellor needs a counsellor mm. right now. And some have even come out to say he's a fake counsellor, or that mm. television station should not be giving him platforms, because mm. this is not the first time mm. he's gone on air to say things say very, stupid very thing. ridiculous. And uh, television stations in Ghana still give him the audience to spread these things. And maybe they think it's, Cloud they want to go yeah. viral, or it's an interesting conversation. Because he goes viral a lot. Is that what media time. is about in Ghana? I mean, it does 
doesn't make sense to me. Because mm. if you are saying something that is morally wrong, legally wrong, mm. so why exactly are you giving this person a platform? It, it, actually. it doesn't make sense. So I think they need to also watch what they push out there and how they give going, these people going platform. Going to Julius Ibrahim's request, I, mm -hmm. think, I, I don't think that, that he will be arrested necessarily because mm -hmm. um, I don't think he's committed a crime yet. He should be yet. investigated. Yes, but I think we need to start doing things like that where we really make people scapegoats to do that. So if it's but like if you're going to be forced... Nigeria, I would be arrested with the new law that if you support rape or yeah. anything. Yes, yes. Well, that law is gangster. We it is gangster. That law. <laughs> it, I, I'm, I'm all for it. I, I mean, even if it's that like you do a forceful um, psychiatric reevaluation mm -hmm. or that you taint, that you have to go to this place for... Do something to make people uncomfortable. Mm. I know... And if you just send me nude without me soliciting for it, how mm -hmm. many years in prison? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm loving that law. Uh, now a lot of people <laughs> will go to... Especially ladies. Ladies, ladies. Mm. Hmm. Well, okay, maybe, I maybe I, am saying that because you get a lot of. No, I'm not saying that one. I'm just saying uh, because I know men get, that a, get lot a lot of. Nudes. of like, so you don't get. Sometimes you just call. You just <laughs> wait, relax. <laughs> sometimes you just make a video call and a lady is naked and I'm. Uh, were you not the one that made the, the video, video call? call. Yeah, That's you made a video so. call. But uh -huh. I wanted to speak did you, to you. Did you? Why ask didn't her? you wear did your you, clothes? That's another speak thing. A lot of people call people on video call. I know there are people you are in a certain kind of relationship <clears> with that you can just pick up your phone and call them on video call <clears> anytime. And it means that if you are that, if you are in that kind of relationship, it means that you can see yeah. the person naked. So uh, if you're going to call someone and you did not first of all say. Hi, can where I call clothes? you? There are some that I will even do. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, 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 something. Should I call you back? My God. Let's see that.